Good evening. I'm Father Russ Carmichael, and across from me, I have my co-host with me tonight, Dominic Clanton. Bonnie uh, Sadowski uh, is off uh, caring about business tonight. Bonnie also is one of our, she's our co-hostess that comes on now and, now and then, and that woman is a workaholic and helps me, thank God, but she's out busy. I want to greet all of you out there, my whole audience that uh, shows up all the time. I've really uh, been around this week. A lot of people talk to me and still interested in the show, and tonight I do have a show for you. It, we, you'll, you'll, it'll be a show. Uh, prayers, uh, obviously, today is a, a special day, uh, one that sticks in uh, my mind because my cousin's office uh, was in the towers, and uh, so this is the 13th anniversary of 9-11, uh, and our prayers and concerns go out for all the victims. So on a serious note, that's, uh, that's one of our things. And also, uh, when we talk about prayers, our friend Andy Maynard, uh, okay, uh, uh, we, we, we need to, you know, make sure that the prayers are out for him, and I don't know if Dominic has anybody that we should talk about. I think uh, just Andy. We're focusing, uh, on, we're, we're, we're focusing our attention we're, we're on Andy. We're focusing on Andy. Okay, exactly right. Uh, and let me see. I want, oh, you know, I, I do want to say Kathy Johnson, uh, okay, bless you. I hope none of my checks have bounced anymore, <laughs> you poor lady down there. Uh, you know, I understand. I understand one of Father's checks bounced on you. Uh, let me. I'll, bl I'll blame the bank on that. I, uh, okay. It isn't. I didn't have money. You know? Fig figure, figures it went to the Democratic <laughs> committee down and, there. And it went to. Oh, and I had to embarrass you, right? I, Dominic covered for me, though, right? Trying to bail me out. I'm sorry about that, Kathy. It was not your fault. So I hope everybody in that area knows. Father's check bombs. <laughs> hey, and while I'm here, I want to say hello to Ray. Ray, don't call right now. I got a bunch of stuff I got to do. I know you're watching, Ray. Darren, Darren and Bobby, uh, I, I want to say hello. People in the Huntington Towers that I saw this week, you watch my show. How are you? Uh, bless you at the Mohegan Apartments. Hat, I know you, you're watching. And I, uh, folks at that place out there in East Lyme, uh, where the manager does not like me, I'll say hello to you too. Uh, okay. Yeah, people, you know, can you believe people that don't like me? All, I, all my union brothers and sisters, God bless you. I hope you enjoy the sh show tonight. And uh, uh, for this uh, uh, particular show, I, I, I have absolution from the Pope, but I'll tell you about that later on. He swears just like me, as most of you have all uh, 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 all heard, and uh, you know I have His Majesty, as you saw with the shots, uh, the dummy here tonight. But I'll let Dominic talk about that right now and tell him what we're gonna do. Well, that's right. For your entertainment tonight, <laughs> we're doing a special. We got diagnosed the dummy, where we're gonna try to figure out what mental health disorder our good mayor Fanuzio has today. And here's our guest. <laughs> you, I, imagine, I don't know, you look like Karnak uh, over uh, here. <laughs> Cardinal Carmichael, <laughs> why, my God, right? <laughs> Thanks, Frank, for sending me uh, my, uh, my, my, my hat, you know what I mean? So, so I don't want you, and, and thanks for getting rid of all those pederasts you've been working on and changing the whole, whole banking system. <laughs> if they don't kill you, hope the mafia don't kill you, Frank. He, he can clean up the Vatican, <laughs> yeah. I think. He's got to come over here to New London yeah, I for our pal over I, I, here. Yeah, yeah, we need to bring him back to New London. One of the things I want to talk about why, we're, why I'm doing this tonight, this satire, whatever we want to call it, okay? This was in the paper. Another fixture in downtown New London is leaving the area, and many business owners are blaming the mayor for the problem. Uh, Klingerman's, now I don't know if this was recent or what, because Father's been doing statewide stuff, but Klingerman Travel, which I was surprised, has been downtown New London for 52 years, pulling up stakes and moving to Niantic. 
uh, Klingerman uh, manager, the manager, Judy Wood, said uh, they wanted their shoreline customers to feel welcome. Apparently, they're not feeling very welcome, dear. Okay, uh, she, they said uh, uh, they do not want them to fight parking problems in unplowed roads as of la like last year. It, it's become run down, rules aren't enforced. There is no, no one in charge, Wood said. I've tried for two years to get things as far as parking issues, garbage issues, plowing, plowing issues uh, to be overseen in a better way. Well, in a better way. Well, it's really interesting because the eyewitness news went down Bank Street and uh, saw, found dozens of vacant stores, f storefronts, as well as signs of businesses that have been open and then lo uh, left, okay? Okay, the, uh, all the business, many, many, not all, many business leaders told eyewitness news. They blame Mayor Darrell Fanuz, oh, his highness, for the cloudy and cold business climate. Business leaders said they are also not happy that he didn't show up recently to a downtown business forum. Well, you know what I mean. He's the I, I heard he had to go paint some fire hydrants. Uh, oh, 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 yeah, he, he he's, a, he's an yeah, artiste. He, he's an, <laughs> <laughs> that, that was from our secret. So, okay, okay, uh, okay. Now, now you told me. We, 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 we know we, nothing. We know about we know this. nothing about. We know nothing about it. Secret source. Okay, that we had. You know, we do have somebody in the city. Okay, that uh, is our secret source, and they, we can't. They ratted him out. <laughs> okay, and if I understand, the guy, the, the guy, the, the public works guy, had just finished painting all those fire hydrants. I was told, I wasn't told by him, so Fanuzio, don't give the guy, I don't even know who the guy is. Okay, did all the fire hydrants like you're supposed to. And I don't even know if there's a law about how you're supposed to paint them a certain way, but the guy just got paid finished on, and this guy clowns out there painting them again. He, he told people you can't volunteer for the city. People have asked to volunteer for di different projects, he told, right? And you know what he does? He puts an ad in <laughs> Huh? For volunteers to help him paint fire hydrants. Hey, hey yo, Fanuzio, what are you doing? Well, what is this, huh? Well, he told the business community, you know what he told the business community? He told the business community, don't you worry, w never mind about what's going on. The Coast Guard Museum's going to take care of this. They're coming to town and they're going to be bringing all the business. What do you think of that, Doc? Well, you know, I got to tell you. You know, something's going wrong here. Something's gone bad in a Denmark. I think that you're trying to run again. What's the story? <laughs> this is this is what oh, oh you as you know. Yeah, right in there, Dominic, you start me off right away. You get me off course. I was not gonna do this kind of stuff, okay, because the guy, you know, the guy I when I started the campaign uh, 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 to, to uh, a no confidence campaign against them that I was going to present to the governor and everything else like that. Two days, three days after I started the campaign, he comes out and he says he's not going to seek another term. Uh, uh, okay, now that's April 1st. He, okay, maybe that was an April Fool's Day. That's when the paper well, Maybe that's out. what's happening. And, and so a, he's going to say, oh, April Fool's, I'm not running. Uh, oh, now, now that, now that we, I let him have a break. Well, guess what? Guess what, Benny? No more breaks. I'm back. I'm after you and everything else like that. You know, it, let me tell you, I, I hate to say this, Dan, uh, Dan, Dan, Dan Malloy. I'm talking like a bristle. <laughs> Dan, 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 you got you to gotta listen to me. You got to really listen to me. You've lost those six and seven points because you took a picture with this Republican beside Danny, you. Danny, you can't take a picture with this guy. No. You can't trust him. You can't trust him. You can't him. trust him. It's cost you, it's already cost you six points. You better stay so far away from this mayor. You, got, you better go to another town when he's around you. He will cost you. Well, you know what he did? I'll tell you what he did. He cost Poor Bill Sadai, a ton of people. He absolutely cost them a ton of votes. People did not go out, and that is no baloney. They did not go out no, to no, vote no. for Bill because, yeah, you, you because Bill supports him, and Bill has no choice. I hate to say it. I'm sorry, Bill. You, you know, you're our town committee chairman, my Democratic town. But this is the guy that cost you. 
I, I, I mean, it was, a great, it was a great election. Betsy, I love you, uh, okay, and you guys fought it up. But, Bill, this guy cost you votes. Fanuzio, why are you taking out a friend of ours? What's the deal here? This is bad publicity. Let me tell you something. You know how? You know what he did? This, this is what he, he went in to the business guys. He's going to tell them how to. Okay, you remember this guy? Hey, hey, let me ask you something. Huh? <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, you remember this guy? I'm gonna tell you. You guys sit down. He called all the business leaders in. Sat him down, stood up in front of him in his gym wear, like he just come from the fight. He's a fighter. He's a club fighter. Now, right, with all you business folks that are watching me, this is the truth, isn't it? <laughs> I'm going to tell you how to you fix your business. I've done a thousand. Uh, right, His Majesty? Sir, I've done a thousand businesses. I've made a thousand. You know, what, it's like a lawyer. He couldn't even do a thousand business. This is what he told people. These are actually <laughs> things he said. I did a thousand businesses. Now I'm going to tell you. You know how you, you know how you fix your business better? Raise your prices. <laughs> Raise. Never mind that there's nobody coming in. Raise your prices, right? Uh, Fanuzio, who are you going to duke it out with here? You trying to duke it out with the business community? What's the deal, Fanuzio? You know what? I think you're taking a one too many hit to that. You're doing this club fighting thing. I think we got some serious issues going on with your brains. Anybody votes for this guy, you got to be out. Oh, look at this. We got calls already. Good. <laughs> Good evening. You're on Street Talk with Father Russ, the Father, dummy. How you doing? I'm all right, Ray. How are you? What you doing tonight, Ray? Hi, Father Russ. Hi, Ray. Hey, John. How you doing, buddy? I, Hi, Father. You got to turn your TV you down. You got to turn it. You, you, the TV, Ray, are they going to shut you off? TV. Okay, John. Tur turn it off. No, that's Dominic. You, okay. Shut it off, Ray. I'm sorry. Okay, that's good. There you go. You're good. Ray, there you go. Hello, John. That's Dominic. Dominic. How you doing? I mean, Dominic. You're right. How you doing? I'm good, thank you. How are you tonight? I'm a uh, father's uh, buddy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we, we, we got, we got a Daryl of Fanuzio. What do you think of Fanuzio over here? Yeah. I like it. You, you like it? You yeah. Like, you like the dummy, huh? <laughs> yeah, it looks like you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're all right. You're all right. He's got a little bit more hair going on Have here. you said hello to Bobby, Ray? Hi. Huh? Have you said hello to Bobby? Hi, Bobby. There you go. He, he can hear you. He's watching the TV at home. Okay. How you doing, I, I'm doing good. I'm hey. doing. Yeah. You know what? What? You're a nice guy. <laughs> you're a nice guy too, Ray. Okay. And, you, and your guest is a nice guy too. Yeah. Uh, all our prayers, Ray. You go. I'll, I'll see you later, right? I just want to call you. You know, say hi to you. I know you do. You How's group? Bobby doing? Bobby's doing good. He's, well, you're going to have him on TV again. Oh, I, he could have been on tonight. He's busy tonight. He's doing a lot of work. Oh. No, he'll be back soon. I'll get him back next on. Week. Okay? Make sure you bring him next week. Okay. Okay. Bye. Take care, Ray. Bye-bye. So now, but on the serious side here, Father, I mean, uh, I'll be honest with you. I mean, you told me some of this guy's like annex. And I'm in complete shock and utter disbelief that, you know, I mean, I've come to the city of New London, you know, I like the people like around here, but how this guy like got in office in the first place, I mean, you told me he was a Republican, he's a turncoat. Yeah, he was in Westerly he's a, here. He, he's yeah. a turncoat yeah, and a carpetbagger, no a, less. Yeah, exactly, he came from Westerly <laughs> both, and they voted him in. Okay, but you know what happened in the in the primary? Uh, he, he went against our Democratic side. Uh, he he did, he called the primary. The Democratic town committee didn't support him, but he pulled. He 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 was smart. He had people infiltrate 
the place. I mean, he, he's not stupid, he, uh, you know. Uh, uh, and, uh, and they went against Bessetto. Now, Bessetto should have won, but they undermined Michael Bessetto, who's a business leader in the community. Family's been here, had Michael's dairy, nice people. Not a, but Michael wasn't running because a politician. He's not a politician. He, 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 was, he was doing the right thing. He, he, he wanted he, to be he, a part of the a community. Part of the community. And yeah, make absolutely. Things better. Exactly right. So, so they undermined him, and okay, they say, it's alleged that the chief of police, him, and, and a gadfly, Kathy Mitchell, uh, conspired to run bad things about Bassetto and, and, and light, and the chief uh, uh, attacked Bassetto, said he interfered with her office and all this stuff, and took out a complaint against him. The complaint was found by a judge to be a false, and have no, no uh, valid, validity whatsoever, and, and, but Mike lost the election. Not, not by a lot, but he lost, lost the election. And, 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 and it was tragic, I, I think, you know. I, and I, from the beginning, when he first started, I... I well, he you know, tried to pull the wool over your eyes, didn't he? <laughs> yes, he did. <laughs> yes, he did. He had me. He had me for a couple of months, because, you know, I do my research. I do, you know, I, I do due diligence and everything else like that. So most of what I was finding out was, was solid. Good student, sharp guy, young, everything else like that, energetic. Come out of New York from he was working on the uh, pol police policy procedures under Giuliano's administration. Well, see, no, I, I've, I've actually done a lot of that uh, uh, of, uh, of uh, research uh, on Giuliani. I, I actually, uh, one of my graduate classes, I took a, a leadership class, and one of the people that we looked at was uh, was, was Giuliani and and, and uh, the way that he went about running uh, his administration. And um, I can tell you. <laughs> <laughs> from, 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 from what you got over here. <laughs> he, he, no, he was no, he was no, he was no big guy. He was a coffee boy. He yeah. was on the policy committee, uh, like, you know, like an intern would be. Yeah. Okay, but when he come over here, he blew up this job like he was, he was some executive and everything else, and he conned everybody, and that was not the case. You know, it's like being on one of the commissions at the State House, 16 people are on it, and uh -huh. stuff like that, you know, when you put in and your piece. Oh, coffee oh, boy. <laughs> Go get the coffee, coffee. boy. I need right. a little milk in my coffee. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And so that, that's, ba that's basically what it was. But he, he, he did a good undercover job. And, and, uh, uh, and of course, he, he sucked in the chief. She got involved in the situation. And, and then uh, they ended up doing a court transcript where, where the chief went outside of her office and, and, gave information to an outside source who that outside source got published it in the paper and stuff like all is, of this negative is, stuff. Isn't that our chicken the over there that was and, talking and, and, over and, and, there? And, and, well, <laughs> I brought the gadfly back. I was eating it, right, right, and she, the town crier, got out there and 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 uh, started uh, uh, do, move, making the move against uh, 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 Bissetto. So he gets in. Okay, he gets elected. Okay, but the first thing he does, he breaks his promises and lies. New London. This this is way, but this is uh, 2011, right? He's not even in New London. Uh, he's not even the New London mayor yet. Okay, uh, Daryl Fanuzio has strayed from his promises of the new era of governance in the city. One respects the process and would focus on ability, not political expedience of making appointments. Well, guess what? Uh, in his first few days, the mayor, elect Fanuzio, decided to substitute the, his will for the will of the people at the ballot box, right? He, he gets rid of people, and he also, uh, he made a keen, keen uh, appointments to his administration that were obviously political. He paid off his political friends with key appointments, which were outrageous. That, that's a whole nother show. Pointing to technical problems with sale contracts, the mayor-elect announced that the city would not sell a portion of Riverside Park to the U.S. Coast Guard Academy, which they had said they were going to do. The deal, he said, was off. He did not care what the vote count showed. Now, at the time, the vote count, the vote stood at an approval of the sale by, th this is the public, okay? We had an approval vote. I woke up in the morning thinking I won, and they were going to sell the uh, pack to the Coast Guard, right? 
Fenozio makes an announcement one day before the recount. Okay, he's not even mayor yet. That the and uh, okay that the, he's not going to sell. Okay, he he said that. And the recount, they did a recount, and uh, the recount ends up we get defeated by 19 votes. <laughs> so, so already, this guy doesn't even come into office. Fenozio, what's up with this? What's going on? Already, you really? didn't even come into office. Uh, not even in office. Not even in an office of so one day. Not even in office. And you're trying to overthrow the will of the people. What's yeah. going on with this, Fenozio? This yeah. is no good. This is no good. You know what? Yeah, I, no, think, yeah. I think, I think yeah. you were smoking some of this. What, were what? you smoking that stuff? <laughs> Well, okay, guess what? That brings me a nice segue into exactly why. Okay, he gets in, and the first thing he does, he writes a, a, a he he tells the police department that they cannot, okay, he, they cannot uh, enforce marijuana laws. Okay, he he, he does a policy. It's like his first day. Okay, well, guess what? Here again, New London, the state's attorney. He says to the mayor, you, can, you do not have the authority to tell police officers to look the other way when they see marijuana used on private property. That's the state's attorney, Michael Reagan. Okay, tells him. You can't. So then he just says, he said, okay, he, he, listen, he, 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 he still doesn't want to do it, but he agreed not to, he wasn't going to challenge Reagan. Well, it's illegal. This is with, and this guy's a lawyer. So, so what's, what's the policy for Nuzio? Is this this? Don't exhale. You can inhale, but don't exhale. Don't exhale. <laughs> Our, our union, our union brothers and sisters have gone through nothing but heck with this guy, hell with this guy. Unbelievable, unbelievable situation, right? And they go, and and he goes. Uh, the union president, okay, gets in this big fight again with with the chief, she's with the chief. He's trying to get rid of all police people that had opposed him. Okay, Captain Dittman and stuff that opposed him. He got rid of high price the buyouts, anything to get him out of the city. He didn't want it. So he's put he's putting your city in bigger debt. Oh, unbelievable. So that he can cover over and unbelievable. Yeah. What his situation is. I, and, I, and and his political miscues. I hate to tell you what he did to my poor friend Todd Lynch. Todd now now viewers out there Todd knows, I was going to say, but they beat up Todd so bad. You know, this guy was state trooper, trooper okay, Todd, Todd, Todd got beat up so bad, uh, okay, and, and, and the abuse against Todd over the two years, this is what it did to Todd. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Todd, Todd. Todd, Todd is in real bad shape. Okay, this is this is what Finocchio's done to Todd. And not only did he lose his hair, <laughs> okay, yeah. I mean he's done a number. Okay, now Todd's the president of the union. He's a brother union guy and asked me and everything else. And and, and, and the gadfly was in the middle of all this stuff. Are oh, you town crier? Town huh? cri okay, uh, okay. So is, Todd is, is that the town crier or the town liar? Uh, uh, Oh, well, this, it, it could, it, no, the town liar is him over oh, there. Oh, yeah, that's his, right. Sorry, his, the town the liar was talking to the town crier. The, okay, and, well, she was reporting stuff, okay, that she, you know, thought was right, that was being fed to her that w nobody else could do. I mean, you know, so they're not supposed to do stuff like that. She was, and so she would put it in the, on that patch thing and everything else. But Todd has been beaten down, lawsuits and everything else like that. Poor, and he was the head of the canine corps. And then we had a canine dog, one of the dogs, take it easy, Todd. <laughs> one of the dogs, one it'll of the dogs. It'll be okay. <laughs> it'll be okay. Uh, it'll be okay. Our police guys are really great. <laughs> You guys better not give me no ticket. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Todd, you better call up and bail me out of this. Uh, 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 okay. They got a canine that's sick, and, and he puts it like it was a retirement, right? And he just, he's not going to pay the medical expenses for the dog, the police dog. Can you imagine this? So the town went out, and we raised money to feed the dog, 
and then through a big hullabaloo, we ended up the dog come back on, got a handler, and then and then the dog retired. Of course, I mean this is what this guy does to think. And poor dog, poor poor you know, poor Jasper, okay, is in much the same situation. Okay, this is what this is what the. The, 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 well, you, you know, he, he's the mayor, but you ever seen that uh, uh, Clint Eastwood movie where he's the gunslinger comes to town, you know, and, uh -huh. and they got the little guy, right? And they, they, make, the, they make the guy the mayor, the, okay, the little guy. Well, that's it. That's, that's Fenuzio. I'm the mayor. I'm the chief. I'm the mayor. I'm the chief. <laughs> he, he wants to be everything. So he took over the police department, put a gag order, on the, see, we really don't know what's going on with the chief because she can't say nothing. Well, you know, I got to get back to like one thing here first. <laughs> you, you, you know what? I really worry about people when they treat animals with such disrespect. You know, how can you call yourself like a human being? I mean, everybody in your town's crying out and, and, and giving money for this, for this poor animal. And, you know, Fenuzio, uh, you know, I mean, there's, there, there's some serious issues. Do these issues go back to childhood? I mean, has this been going on for such a long period of time? I mean, you know, normally I would say that, 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 that some of this laying and everything else, I'm starting to think you got a personality disorder. I really do. I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm thinking there's some serious character flaws that are going on here. Uh, well, I think he's as normal as I am. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I, mean, not I, saying I, my challenged, I, I challenged him to a fight. You, you know, he was going to do a fight for a fundraiser, right? So I got him. I was, in, I was at a Democratic town committee meeting, right? So I gone up to him. I said, uh, you know, He's, he's about middleweight, stuff like that. He, he's going to do this fundraiser fight. So, so I challenged oh, well, we him got... to a fight. I, I challenged him to a fight. He said I was too old. He says he's got two things. If you're too heavy, if, I, of course, I, 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 then I was. I was 255. I'm, I'm 200 right now, Fenuzio. Working down, I'll be 180. You know? okay? so, so he said, but he said I was too old. Okay, so, oh, my God, we got a call. Good evening. You're on Street Talk with Father Russ and Dominic. All right. How are you guys doing tonight? I don't know your guest, and uh, I hardly know you, but uh, I just want to know why you were against the uh, the sell. I mean, um, uh, why you wanted to sell the sell the uh, the park to the Coast Guard when the two brothers gave the park to the citizens of New London? That can never be sold. Why do you? Why do you think that way? I don't understand that. What do you mean it couldn't be sold? It could, it's a gift. It's a gift. How can you Why couldn't it be gift? sold? It, it would have it had, at, at the time, the proposals had gone through. It was agreed upon about a sale, okay? And what the Coast Guard was going to put up there was the... Uh, 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 was the training center, which would have held 57 new employees up there and would have brought in hundreds and hundreds of people for training all, all year round, which would have probably filled one of the hotels. That's why. The economic feasibility of what they were going to do was astronomical. Okay, so I don't know if you don't know. Well, you just asked me, okay? Uh, that's why. And the, and the, and the, and the, and, and, and Riverside Park was a trash haven and a drug uh, infested place at the time. Only one reason, I, because the okay. London kept it down. Oh, oh is that right? Down. Well, I guess you don't, uh, yeah. Well, well I didn't see what this. Gee, because, you know, New London kept it down, right? It, it was a mess, and a, uh, okay, and, and that, that's the reason. But guess what? I lost, so I don't care. So, you, you know, uh, that's not the, that's not the, well, yeah, yes, it is the point. This is what the town has gone through because of this clown, okay? It is the point because the, rea it is the, point. the reality is, is yeah. that, you know, the economics in this area. is de devastating, absolutely and, and, devastating. And, 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 right, and, right. You know, yeah, I, yeah, exactly. I mean, I just, you know, I came out for a visit. I stayed out here for, for a few days, and you can see. You know, it's going down the tubes. 
There's okay. there, and but there's see, the but there's Academy, like there's there's we'll like hope that. like right. sitting we're, like we're right. right there in front of you yeah, if right. if, yeah. if you can pull the pieces together. If they had developed like they wanted to, which the Coast Guard is going to bail them out. Okay, the Coast Guard, you got that, sir? Okay, the United States Coast Guard. Okay, we'll uh, we'll, we'll we'll bail this place out if if the town gets together. They yeah. got to do their end. No, I don't. I, Coast Guard people, and they're having trouble raising funds. I happen to be a Coast Guard family member, okay, with seven people in, in the Coast Guard, okay, both offices and everything else like that. So whether you know me or you don't know me, uh, okay, what the Coast Guard will perform a miracle if, if with the, uh, you know, with, with, the, uh, with the museum and stuff like if the infrastructure is built properly. Nobody's going to come to a town where there is no law enforcement, people are getting no. shot up and stuff like that, or sales of drugs, and you, and you only got, what, 50-some-odd officers watching the town. They're not going to come there. Oh, you want, okay. Good evening. You're on Street Talk with Father Russ okay, okay. and Dominic. Okay, please. Okay, please don't hang up on me. Well, you, uh, don't, don't, well, don't challenge rude. me. That's don't be disrespectful. Hey, hey, you, you know, this is my show. Don't, don't tell me what I'm doing. You okay. want to talk respectfully? Fine. I, I, was. Go, I was. No, you weren't. You, 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 you seem to not okay. know what the issue was. Okay, can I speak, please? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, I'm going to say this as clearly as I can, please don't hang up on me. My family's been here for 375 years, okay? Hey, I know the Coast Guard. We've, we've, we've dealt with them. Please, I have please. many, many family hey, members. My, my, yeah, my, my well, sons and daughters. You're, you're, you're doing the same thing. You're interrupting yeah, no, me. Yeah, no, you're, you're trying to talk to me. Like, you, I, you Listen the to me. Coast Guard, all you, you have to serve is six you, months and you get a free education. How do what? you do that? What are you talking about? How do you do about? that? You serve what? What do you serve? Six months and you get a four-year, you go, what do you get, a two-year education? Uh, what are you talking about? I Young man, I, you, you, you know, I thought you knew about the Coast Guard. Are you going to punch me out? Are you going to threaten me like you did before? Are you going to threaten somebody? I'm you, not you threatening you. threatened somebody last Who? year. I saw your... I saw your show. I, I totally don't like you. I, think I don't like you. Hey, yeah, you want to I think you're a hypocrite. Hey, I, I don't think like you. Selling. You know you're what I mean? You're an ex-con. You're an ex <laughs> imagine, imagine this guy. Okay, your you your your family's three hundred years. My my sons and daughters are, are uh, sons and daughters of the American Revolution. Big deal, big deal. What's that make you somebody important? And you're going to get on my show and yell and uh, because you know like, you're some elitist. Is that what you're telling me? You've been here three hundred years. So what? The Indians were here before you. You know that? And, and the Coast Guard, you, uh, you serve six months in the Coast Guard, and you, you, what, what are you talking, through your hat? You don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> it's, a, it's a half a million dollar scholarship. Four years, and you're required to do another five years worth of service. Get, get, get real, pal. You know what you're talking and, about. And the reality here is, but that's and, I, and I will tell you, <laughs> is that, you know, He's got family members that are, have gone through this. Yeah, right. So yeah. I, I'm not really sure what you were trying to like gain out of this, but that's okay. Good you luck. know what? Yeah. Good luck with it. The, the reality is, is economically, right. no matter what, you look at it, you know, the infrastructure around here needs to be built up, and, and, and these issues need to be tended to because... I, I look at like information that's like published out there that you know New London's got some of the worst crime rates, you know, in, uh, in the state, uh, you know, yeah. uh, population One wise. One of the most dangerous you're, you're, places you're, right now. You're 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 yeah, you're, yeah, you're exactly. the most poverty like stricken. Right. You know what? I would be ecstatic that somebody's willing to come in and help, you know, find jobs and you know other things along those lines. You know, you have to be lucky that, that they're going to be building through uh, the whole ports bill that just came through. And they, you should be building up your infrastructure in the middle of a town. Right. And right, like I said, I, right. I came here. I, I took my vacation up here in New London. Uh, and I walked around the streets. And I, what I saw was broken sidewalks. And that's what people are looking at. 
And so why would they, you know, why would they want to come to the city? You got to give them a, a reason to want to come. You got to develop this stuff. The tourism, you know, the port spill, um, hopefully getting in uh, larger ships you, and we, other things that go yeah, on with you that. Can't, you can't have leadership like this man. There's no way, uh, okay? There's no way you can have leadership li like a Fenozio in here and, and, and expect people to be here. They're not going to come, okay? They're not, they're not going to come. And, and he's not doing the right thing, and he hasn't done one thing for the whole city. He's destroyed it. He didn't bring, he tried to take credit for the Coast Guard Museum coming here. And you've got to be kidding. They've been working on that for umpteen years, 15 years at least, all the people that work on that. You're lucky that Admiral Papp lives here, for crying out loud. That, that's how lucky you folks are. And, the, and that's a, one of his major, pro, uh, it is his major project, I believe, right now, right now. And you're fortunate because the Coast Guard was, the, so people said, oh, they would never move out of here and everything else like that. There were pushes in Congress to talk about making the move. So, so I, when you're talking about what you know, uh, like my background, everybody in the world knows that I did time for crying out loud. I mean, that's, that's, that's the whole area that I'm an expert in because of, I deal with prisons and prisoners and have for the last 45 years. So, uh, uh, you, you know, you, you want to come on my show, you can come on here and you can either talk re respectfully to me and not try to jam me up on a phone or you, you don't need to call. You can shut off the TV. <laughs> well, which, here we, which, but, but which, which, is, which, which brings us back to the whole issue in the first place. Well, you know which, what? which is this good because this, this is, is what this is, is the about. politics of dis yeah, divisiveness. Yeah. Right, right. And this is this is what you have when you have a divisive leader. Exactly. You know, right. this is somebody, quite honestly, from my perspective, of, of a lot of years of working with the, in the mental health community. I'm not a doctor, and I, nor do I profess to put a full diagnosis because. He ain't been on my couch totally, but looking at for this from the outside, here you got somebody who's a divisive, narcissistic person. Absolutely. You know, that's got some serious, like, paranoid-like issues going on here, and I don't know if it's because he smoked a little too much dope, and you know what? I have dealt with a lot of people that have smoked a lot of pot over the years, and it ends up turning their brains paranoid over a long period of time. You know, it's some of the issues that you bring up here. All, all documented. All, all documented yeah. issues. And all over a short period of time, multiple issues. And in, 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 in whether, uh, whether it's part, whatever it is, uh, okay, it is not a situation where you should be in leadership. You, you, you know, like the military, you didn't do the job, you failed at the job, get out of there. Get, get out, you, you no longer should be the administrator and go do something else. Failed administration. And, 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 and if it continues, if our city is foolish enough to vote for this guy, if he's going to run, I mean, that's what it looks like to me. I had several people tell me he's going to run. That's why, that's why I'm doing this kind of show, because that's a mistake. This guy should have a no-confidence vote in this city. He is ridiculous. He's hurting the city. Economically, he's hurting the city. And anybody who goes out and votes for this guy is, is voting to destroy the building of what's going on in the city now. And, and the hope, we really do have a lot of good hope with the museum, with the coastal thing. A lot of people don't even know about what's going on with the whole coastal move because of no. the Panama Canal. They're not even involved. They're not aware of what is on the way and what can happen. And that is the problem. And, and the gentleman that just called me, we have the lowest uh, pay rate in all of New England, it's the lowest wage earners here in all of New England. We also have the lowest number of college graduates living in a city right here. So you, okay, you want me to tell you what's wrong? And it's a poverty city, okay? Whether, you're, whether your family is 300 years from the, from, uh, uh, the from, Mayflower. from the Mayflower or not, big deal. To me, it's no big deal. Look up my name. It's no big deal, okay? You're a joke. The Indians were here first, and you know what we did to them. So, 
you, you know, you know uh, I, don't, I don't care how long your people have been here. That, that there's nobody right to stop economic growth or abuse or anything else like that, nor does it make you an elitist because your family was here. It makes you nothing. <clears throat> See what a trouble you're stirring up, uh, well, Afanusio. You know what? You, know what? Uh, uh, you, you get, know, the, you get, get out the good father, Red. You, 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 you get him so <laughs> pissed off. No, he's, I, he, he's ready. He already challenged you once. He challenged you. Oh, he, uh, said, uh, he, said, he said you couldn't, you couldn't fight with he him. He said I uh, can't fight with him. He said, I, he said, he said no. He said uh, he... Uh, but you can be my second. I'll be your second. You can do a fundraiser, Dominic, okay? Uh, it's not like with, I haven't been uh, challenged uh, to do that <laughs> once on <already> this year. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah, that's right, right, right. You can, you can do it. Yeah, 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 you know, I, he, I, I he's not, not the only club fighter. I, I might not be a club place. fighter, but, uh, yeah, you know, you know I, 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 I've dealt with, uh, with, with, with the mentally ill for quite a year, a lot of years. So uh, yeah, yeah, policies yeah. have changed from, from where <laughs> they used to be way back when. That, that's but, when you had to put them down, huh? Yeah. yeah, yeah exactly I'm, right. I'm, and, and, well, like, like, I mean, well, like corrections officers have to deal with, with prisoners and stuff like that, yeah. Uh, but, it, but it's, you know, it, it, it's, it's really interesting. Sometimes you have to help people to feel like they're back in control. And, I, I, I mean, honestly, from what it sounds like, you know, Finney over here is, he's just out of control. Oh, oh, absolutely. I, I, I mean, if you take all this stuff, uh, okay, and I mean, uh, I mean, the joking around and all that stuff tonight. Okay, the satire and everything else. Sorry to. Okay, was uh, you know I got I got a thing that thick. You take you take all the issues from the day he started and you put them out. You're talking about nearly every month an issue and a back issue and a lie and everything else. And 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 see, we keep our records. We keep our records so that what we say can be proven, okay? So when you're seeing me say things, right, I have the documentation in front of me. It's not stuff I'm making up in my head, uh, okay? And that's the scary thing about what's going here, okay? He appointed people who have no qualifications for their city jobs, none. What? I'm just lost on that one, you know. And now you got like the big one. Here you got the person that you know supposedly he was conspiring with the the, the chief of police. He want he's got a gag order on her, and now he wants to pay who to come in and investigate him? <laughs> the CIA of all people. I I I I mean, people don't even understand. I, I don't really believe they understand who he is, and, and, what, and well, what is he, 90 years old now? Head of the FBI, head of the CIA, uh, I, I, friend of Cheney, and uh, uh, not that should, a Democrat. That should be, that should be scary <laughs> enough right there. <laughs> you You're a friend of Dick Cheney. You got it. You don't want to be in the line of fire me. there. <laughs> you got to be. Nobody knows, okay, he, where did he get this guy? And anybody who is on the council that happens to be of color, this is guy. This guy was tied into the old things that happened to Martin Luther King when when they were doing all the illegal stuff and everything else. He was running the FBI at the time of all that stuff, and then he tried to cover up a whole bunch of stuff. This guy is unbelievable. I don't even know where he met him. So, so and, and, and what does he want to do? He wants to spend ninety-two thousand. That's what he wants. They, they, it's gone now. They, they, I know, but he want he, he wanted, wanted to spend wanted ninety-two thousand. Right. And where was he taking the money from? Uh, uh, economic development. So I he, believe. I, okay, I, 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 I believe economic development. I believe. It. Yeah. Uh, so, so take away from something that's supposed to help the city to help Finney. But listen. You're going to spend $92,000 with a CI. This guy's, I mean, there's no question about the impeccable investigation, clandestine stuff, or whatever this guy's been involved. No question. However, you, you got this guy, okay, at this level, and then the next day you say, oh, okay, and you go back into your office and you're going to put your... Uh, 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 
a person who investigates uh, you, you, you know, complaints in your city worker, you're going to dump this whole investigation on her, uh, uh, okay, so that uh, she can do the job now. Uh, with, with her own job. I mean, she has to continue doing her own personnel. I think she's the head of personnel. She's got to do her own personnel job, that what she's doing, and then she's got to do this job on top of it. No raise. <laughs> now, Todd, you've worked with the state police before. <laughs> yes, he did. Uh, and, and, I, I, and I know uh, uh, quite a few state police troopers. They have very good investigative skills. Right. Why couldn't they just put you on the job? And, 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 oh, he's and, got maybe, a... and maybe you could have let him know what was really going on. <laughs> Conflict of interest with Todd because Todd's got the, had the litigation against the chief back and forth. Uh, okay, so that's that, there's a con, but there's not no conflict if we had a, a, a right. You're right, a state investigator come in or, uh, and something like that and do the investigation if that's what they were going to be. That's the normal procedure that I would that's think what you I would do. It was. Yeah, that's what I thought it was too. I mean, she's a sworn officer. But I don't understand how he can be in charge of the police department. Now the new guy, she's supposed to be under suspension or whatever and Reinhardt is supposed to be in there, he, he's taken over. But I don't understand how he can be the, he's not a sworn police officer. I don't care if he's the executive of the city. I mean, I, I always thought there was a different issue with police, sworn police officers, even though they work for the city, they somehow were connected with the state. So, but I don't know how that goes, and I, I, I should, but I don't. <clears throat> well, I mean, I would imagine why, why, that why, 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 they, why? In, in, in a situation like that, I mean, I, I mean, certainly I've seen like over in East Haven um, when they had large investigations I, of the, the police. The state police come in, yeah, exactly. Well, well and then, you know, uh, because a, a federal lawsuit was like filed against them, exactly. you know, the federal, the right. feds came in, the feds at, came that, in. At, at that point. Yeah, yeah exactly right. But, <clears throat> but oh, and then, then <laughs> he gets mad at... Todd, he, he don't like Jasper. Oh, poor Jasper. I, I, Todd's going to kill me. You know, he don't like Jasper because Jasper is a, is a biting dog, right? Well, obviously, Jasper's a police dog, well-trained. Todd's one of the best canine trainers around, and he was with the state police. Okay, so Jasper, so he don't want Jasper because he don't want a biting dog. In the meantime, there was some incident up around his house. The state police come in with the dog, and I believe it was his own backyard. The state police dog was a biting dog and bit, and bit the person. Sure he, was, sure he wasn't a drug-sniffing dog. Maybe, maybe he was going out of his pants pocket. You, you, you would say that, <laughs> think, right? Think, think that there was uh, some, some dope you in got, there or you whatever. Gotta, you got to be kidding me. You got to be kidding me. It's un un unbelievable and stuff like that, you, you know? Uh, but the issue, as you can see, as, as the gentleman that called, the, the Riverside issue is several years, it's all past. We, I just brought it up to show his right. inconsistency, right? It, it's over. It's done with. The vote was the city gets it, and uh, I support Mike Passero uh, and, and, and they, what they want to do, and I think they need to spend money on that. But that's where I am now. But back then, I was against it. <clears throat> but this is how divisive this all this stuff was. I, I mean, under economic development and stuff like that. Now, I understood why they want the park, and I understand that. But I don't need to get into that. That, that issue is all gone. We move forward. See you later. And we should be moving forward on all this stuff. Except to get rid of this except, guy. Except he's he, he's he's, the, he, he's the he's the he's the speed bump oh. right at the moment. That's oh. like kind of like in the road, <laughs> clogging <laughs> yeah. up traffic. Yeah, and I thought I was rested. I wasn't going to do anything, and I wasn't going to you know. When he once he told me he was going to resign, he told everybody, made the statement, he he's not going to run, and everything else. We backed off, and we stopped the petition for uh, the no confidence, because. We could get a no confidence thing overnight. So now, but now we're into if he's going to run. The other thing is, good, go ahead and run because he's going to get beaten so bad. Maybe he'll get driven out of town anyway. So, so I mean, that's my feeling. May, and, may, and now, may, now may, he's got me something to do. Maybe he'll be doing that good fire. Fi fi <laughs> 
trying to beat me up. I could have fought better. I could have been a contender. I could have. 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 Okay. But uh, if I'm people, feeling a little punch drunk people, right now. People do not realize how 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 bad and how influential being around his situation is for everybody, for any growth and everything. I, I, I'm sure that, you know, people say, oh, yeah, you, you, you know, he, he didn't affect the election. He absolutely affected votes against uh, Saturday. He absolutely did. Well, I mean, that's the truth. We went out, we talked to people. I had people that, that I know could said, you know, I like Bill. I, I like Bill, but I'm not going to vote for him because he's too close with Fenosio. I said, what are you, crazy? B B you know, Bill's a great guy. Bill Bill's was a uh, town. You, you know, you, you've I, met, I met you know, Bill. Bill. You know what? You, I, you we, know, we great, sat down great deal, with, deal him. with him and stuff yeah. like that. He's, uh, uh, you know, he's the chairman of uh, our town committee and stuff like that. But people, well, I like that. And me too. You see how angry I get with, with a guy like that. Yeah, I get really angry. You don't know what he's talking about, and that's too bad, right? Well, it was supposed to be entertaining tonight, and I see it. <laughs> <laughs> so, we some, somebody called up, and uh, <laughs> that's why Bonnie got the fodder in the fighting <laughs> mode. <laughs> and uh, I have people, Finny, that are over there and there watching. E. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, you think you're running, right? right? He thinks he's running. He th you have no union support. Okay, you may have people who say they got you union support, but rank and file ain't supporting you, Finney. I'll tell you that for sure. <clears throat> and I belong to how many four unions? I belong. Oh yeah, that's that was my team stat. By by the way, that I uh, that I had on. Yeah, I've been a teamster for 55 years, eh? I tell you what, I'll lay I'll lay down the law for you, <laughs> Finney. <laughs> Yeah, uh, there you, you go. You, you want you want to take me on? We'll go. We'll go out. We'll go a couple rounds with you. Do, do a fundraiser. Yeah, he, he said yep. he was going. I don't know what happened to that fundraiser. He was supposed to do a fundraiser boxing, and I guess they called it off. He probably couldn't get back in shape that he needed to be in shape for. But uh, you know, well, he's well, getting you, up there. Well, you know, you move a little slow when you're stoned. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> <laughs> He's going like the Bionic Man, uh, telegraphing. It's it, like punches. Well, you know, hey, Kathleen, I didn't, you know, I, I, I was doing rerun and everything else like that. <laughs> Kat, Kat, Kathy's probably out there swearing at me and everything else like that. Uh, 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 okay. <clears throat> but that was just representative of... Uh, of a past history that's gone on to show, you know, what, what, what context we're talking about when we're talking about this guy. People have not forgotten. I have not forgotten. I will not forget. I will go out door to door, whether people like me or not, with a megaphone on my truck, Mr. Fenozio. That's how bad you, you need to get out of my party and go back to the Republican Party because you're not a Democrat. And, and, and Democrats need to know that you're not a Democrat and your investigator is as about as Republican as you can get. You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, yeah, you know, Cheney's but I'm telling you, and I'm telling the governor, yeah, that six points you down, that's because you took a picture beside this guy. You should have been on my show. Instead, you're out there taking pictures beside this guy. Even if you have him at arm's length, it's not far enough. No. Okay. <laughs> now, uh, all my new audience can see how red and aggravated father gets, right? At times, on the issue, you know? <laughs> Somebody Even, has somebody has to have passion in order to make things happen. That's that's reality. Well, you know what? We've been blessed. Okay, I want to say to all the new viewers and everything. This was a fool around night and everything else like that. We're up in uh, several other uh, community, uh, uh, what do you call it, media outlets now and everything else like that. So a lot of people that I don't know, most people in the prison uh, uh, movement and in the justice movement know I am an ex-offender. Been an ex-offender, did seven years, was with organized crime, <clears throat> been 35 years, uh, priest for uh, 25, and, and stuff like that. So most people know in New England anyways, I've been in, in the prison movement dealing here in New England 50 years now, over 50 years. So you folks, a lot of you folks in the justice thing know who I am. Uh, so 
and and and, uh, and, and, and that's a, not a negative. I don't use my background as a it's, negative. It's, it's mission based. It's, it's mission based. Mission based we're, right. we're you know we're here we're here to help the people that can't go out and, and, and do themselves. for themselves. That's exactly right. And that's reality. Uh, we got a minute. You want to say hello or bye to anybody? Uh, I'm good to go. I'm good, good to, to go. go. We, we got Betsy on next next week. We're we're very happy to have Betsy. Betsy on next week or is we, yeah? No, Betsy's on next uh, Betsy's week. Betsy's on next week. Oh yeah. Okay, Betsy Ritter. Okay, is on next week. I love Betsy Ritter. I know, I know I was on the other side at the time. I don't know. She can get on here and get mad at me and say that I shouldn't have done that. Betsy worked really hard for us, helped yes. us with the ABI stuff yes, and everything did. else. She did. Betsy, uh, uh, you, you know, and uh, we're going to put her in as Senate. Okay, that's what we're going to do. That's our goal. And uh, Betsy will be on next week. And all my friends and everything else, and even the guy who called me, uh, sorry I shut you off uh, because I probably would have got worse than I was getting. But uh, Riverside Park is here, so you shouldn't worry about it. That's a dead issue now. It's moot. <laughs> God bless. Run the street. Love you as all. See you next week.